Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your own FTP server in Windows 7. So, what we need to do first is come to my uh, YouTube channel here. It's been voted for for one of these guys asking for me to show them how to make a free FTP server. So, I'm going to be showing you that today. Uh, so, let's get started. First thing you need to do is go start control panel. Once you're in control panel, you need to come down to programs and features click on there once you're in programs and features click on turn windows uh, features on or off click on that once we've got that open you want to come down to internet information services put a little tick in there and then put your ticks inside here okay these three here make sure they're ticked and this is ticked click OK. This will just install that type of software. Now it doesn't normally ask you for the uh, Windows CD so I'm just going to let that install. I'll pause the video at this stage wait till it's installed. OK that's needed in now. Just wait for this to finish off. Now once that's done sometimes it asks you to uh, reboot a computer. Okay, that's installed. So what we need to do now is go back to control panel and then we need to go to administrative tools, click in there and we should now see Internet Information Services IIS Manager. So we need to click on that. That's what we've just installed. So now we've got this window open, and as you can see, if we go up to the right hand side here where it says Brian's PC, click on that. Yours will say whatever your PC is. Click on Sites, and you can see there's a default one there. But what we want to do is create a new one. So what we're going to do is right click onto Sites and then add new FTP site. Now you can call this whatever you like. So I'm just going to call mine Brightech. and what we need to do now is pick a location where we want to share what what sort of place we want to share whether it's a folder or an actual drive so I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to click on this little 10, 10 gigabyte partition that I've made for my uh, FTP shares so click OK there click next and now once we get to this stage what we need to do here is come down and pick the right IP address now the IP address that you're going to be using, you need to come on to IP config. So go down to the run bar there, type CMD and open up command prompt. And from the command prompt, type in there IP config space forward slash all and then push enter like so. And this will give you your IP address that you need. OK, so you, you just use the IP that you've got. So what we're going to do now is come down to start FTP site automatically, uh, require SSL. So I'm just going to go allow SSL. Okay. So then go next. Now we want to come into anonymously. Now say for instance you want to just set up a free one where anyone can log on and it's always open, you would put anonymous. Okay. But what we're going to do is basic and uh, click on there and you can either put all users or specific users okay so what I'm going to do now is uh, just click on that now what I'm going to do is put in here Brian because that is the name of my username so you need to make sure whatever your username is so you can check that by coming in here going into users and see what username account you're using okay so this is the account I'm going to be using so mine's called Brian and I'm going to give myself read and write um, privileges there or permissions for this FTP server because I want full access now if you're going to set this up for other people to look at you don't want to give them the right privilege you just want to give them read okay okay so next thing to do is go next or finish and there we have our Brightech FTP server path is F and so on and so on okay so what we need to do now is click on this now and this opens up all these little tools that we can use so I'm going to right click 
and I'm going to edit the permissions so we need to edit the permissions go to security and you can see there's nothing in here now if you've got a long list of stuff in here saying system and so on and so on you need to edit that you need to go in here and remove them the only ones you want is just for you okay so you remove all those and then you give yourself all these permissions allow okay full control modify and so on and so on and so on because obviously it's your FTP server so make sure that you've got that exactly how it is there okay allow and you just need to edit it okay so basically uh, that's that side done um, pretty much we're okay there so I'm just going to come out of that click OK just going to right click on this and just check make sure there's nothing else that I need to do no that's fine okay so the next thing we need to do now is check um, the actual site to see if it's active if you look on here you'll see um, F FTP uh, site manage and you can see it's saying start and it's greyed out that means it's already running so it's open uh, for use okay so let's have a look now go to the web browser okay so I'm going to type in here FTP colon um, well, it's just right there so I can use this one and this will come up here okay now this is where um, it'll ask you for your username and your password that's the password for your account for logging on your system okay so what you need to do is just put um, forgot which PC I was on there okay so we need to just put our, our username in there and our password to log on and there you have it what's happened is we're sharing that F drive and that's what's in there so if I just quickly show you that's on my F drive inside my F drive there's a video card stability tests and that's what's sharing okay now obviously this is just all crap basically but I'm just showing you exactly how to share stuff so that's it basically it really so that will be open now obviously that's not open to everyone on the internet if you try to connect to that anon anonymously I hate saying that word but if you try and connect to that then it won't allow you unless you add uh, permissions inside there okay so what you need to do now is just download whatever you like now if you're going to share this for a friend obviously you can set it up and ask his details and put them all in and then he can have shares to it as well okay so that's as simple as that really now if you want to actually set up as I said um, you know another one which is a bit more uh, open for everyone to use then obviously you do the same process but put anonymous and uh, let them log on that way and it'd be wide open now if you can't access this through the actual um, through the actual web and it's not allowing you to access it you may need to port forward and open up port f uh, ports on your uh, router so that will be port 21 you need to open okay and maybe I'll make another um, video to show you how to configure all that just in case people have got uh, problems with that and if you want to set up a DNS name rather than putting your IP address in and you can have your own name they'll maybe we'll make another part to that video too okay so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you enjoy these videos if you do please remember hit the subscribe button show your support and uh, if you haven't joined the forums yet then head over to there and uh, join the forums thanks again for watching guys bye for now